We're bringing back a popular format with today's video, which will be in the form of a quiz on an RNAV approach. This is the RNAV Alpha into Front Royal in Virginia, right at the north entrance to Shenandoah National Park. Here's the first question. Assuming we're coming in for a full stop landing, how can this approach terminate? Straight into runway 28, straight into runway 10, you must circle to land, or you can land on whichever runway you want. We'll put up a timer and give you a few seconds. This is known as a circling only approach. You could tell this because the name of the approach is RNAV GPS Alpha. There's no runway number in the approach name. Also, the minimum section doesn't include a straight in option, only a circling minimum. The thin line and arrow on the airport diagram in the bottom left shows the approach course closely aligned with runway 28. While it is entirely possible to break off the approach and make a small maneuver to line up with the center line of 28 and land, this is not, strictly speaking, a straight in approach because of the minimum options given. This approach can only terminate in a circle to land, whether a slight maneuver to line up with 28, a 180 to line up with 10, or even a full 360 circle to lose altitude and land on 28. You can't land on whichever runway you want as you need to observe traffic pattern flow at the non towered airport. For the next question, what are the weather minimums required to use this airport as an alternate when filing IFR? 600 foot ceilings, 2 statute mile visibility, 800 foot ceilings, 2 statute mile visibility, consult the terminal procedures publication or use of this airport as an alternate is not allowed. The presence of a black triangle with an A in the notes section means that non-standard alternate minimums exist for this airport. These are found in the terminal procedures publication for this airport. They can also be found in ForeFlight using the arrivals tab. It turns out the minimums for Cat A and B aircraft are 1200 foot ceilings and two statute mile visibility. For the next question, let's say you're 10 miles southeast of Linden being vectored onto final when you lose radio communication. What altitude should you climb to? 5300 MSL, 3700 MSL, 5000 MSL, or maintain last assigned altitude? Since you're being vectored off a published section of the approach, you need to maintain altitudes issued by ATC. If you lose contact with ATC, you can no longer be given safe vectoring altitudes and must maintain a minimum safe altitude. This is listed as 5300 in the circle symbol on the bottom right of the plan view. Last question, what are the initial approach fixes for this approach? Jason, Kakem, and Linden, Jason and Kakem, Jason or Kakem. The IAFs are labeled as such at Jason and Kakem. An approach can begin at the Linden Vortac, but this is not an initial approach fix. This is the beginning of a feeder route which leads to the initial approach fix at Kakem, where you'll likely make a course reversal and join the approach course. These weren't easy, but how did you do? Let us all know in the comments, and don't forget to head over to the Flight Insight website linked here and in the description for more training and to check out our ground schools today.